Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Serpent Shrine Cavern Raid in the Burning Crusade via Outland. If you guys have never visited this raid, it is a very old school raid. Uh, it was, you know, part of the first expansion in World of Warcraft. I haven't been down to this place in a long, long time, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of bounds. Now, I will be honest with you, there's not too much outside of the raid, so this is going to be a little shorter video, because what we're interested in the most is seeing what is behind the portal, if there's a lot of the other entrances to the other dungeons out there. Now, I'm assuming there's not, but uh, we're going to go find out. Now, I was messing around in here and I found a way to get out and I'm going to show you how right now. Now once you come in through the raid portal you're going to want to take a right over here on your right you're going to have a little uh, I would say crevice or crack or wedge in between the wall here you're just going to want to jump in this spot like right over here once you jump in the spot it will get you out of bounds. Now once you're out of bounds be careful because um, you don't want to fall off the edge, but also you want to aim towards the portal and we're going to do that now. So we're going to get out of bounds. And it should be right around here. Come on, I just did it. There we go. We are out of bounds. We're going to grow ourselves to make sure we stay out of bounds. And as you can see, the portal entrance is right there. So be careful when you're trying to get over to this side as you don't want to clip back into bounds and hit the portal entrance either. So what we're going to do is we're going to aim this way and we're going to go out that way. Now, we're going to switch to our Havoc class because we need Fell Rush to get over there. All right, and we're going to wait for our second charge real quick. But before we uh, go over there, I just want to draw everybody's attention to an affiliate of mine. It is GamerHero.io. I officially now have a 10% off discount code. So if you want to sign up for the website, please use my AT, I think it's AT Nathan discount code. I'll put it in the comment section below. If you never heard of gaminghero.io, they do gold mount or cold gold farming guides, mount farming guides and toy farming guides. So if you're looking for a place to go and learn how to make a ton of gold in World of Warcraft, this is the place for you. I'll put the link in the comment section below. I'll put my discount code. If you decide to sign up, it would help out a lot if you use my affiliate code. And uh, yeah, uh, go check out the website. They're really awesome. And uh, all right, let's get back to the video. Enough with affiliates. What we're gonna do is we're going to double, we're, oh, actually, yeah, we're gonna double jump, but we need to aim around the portal wall so what we're gonna do is we're going to double jump glide fell rush fell rush and there we go we're outside of the serpent shine cavern so as you can tell the cool effect of the waterfall stays active because you're never supposed to be back here but if you remember when you first walk into the raid the waterfall drops and you can go into the portal entrance so that's pretty cool that that effect stays now I don't think there's too much back here. Now, they do keep the entrance, the other entrance dungeons over here. <clears throat> I don't know the top, I forgot the top of my head yet, but you have the Steam Vault, the Underbog, and the Slave Pens, which is over here. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, they do keep the other dungeon entrances over here. Not too much, though. And we gotta be careful, because we don't want to fall off the map. But as you can see, we can kind of see outside the uh, raid portal here. Now, the whole raid is actually down here, but I'm not going to jump in there because I don't want to fall into the abyss because I don't want to get DC'd. So we're actually going to start heading back up this way. I want to give you guys a better look at the outside of this raid. This might bring a lot of flashbacks for a lot of you uh, who were raiding back in Burning Crusade. Kind of an eerie place to this. It's kind of weird being on a uh, in outside of a ray that you're never supposed to be outside of. They do keep the other portal entrance over here, or the dungeon, I should say. 
same thing but oh that's cool look at that you can get a kind of a cool glimpse of the whole elevator there i'm trying to twist my camera here so we'll let you see it we're gonna have to zoom in here that's really cool Ooh, it's like the elevator just floating in midair let's take a screenshot of that now we're gonna start heading back up this way and we're gonna go jump in the water and see if uh we can swim or we're just gonna fall through the map i'm not really sure So it does recognize we are in the water. And we're getting attacked by Coil Fang Frenzy Piranhas? What? Why is there NPCs outside of the raid entrance here? I'm so confused. Why would they put... <laughs> I have never seen that before. That is very strange to me. That they would put... NPCs in the water outside of a raid entrance dungeon that you're never supposed to get out to anyways. Now I'm assuming as you come out here, the map does drop off. Man, that is so crazy. Look at that. There's a ton of them. What? Why is there NP... All right, I'm confused now. Maybe someone can explain why there's a bunch of crazy piranhas sitting outside of a raid zone entrance that you're never supposed to get to. Maybe Blizzard was like, those who break out of the, you know, the dungeon, they're going to get punished for... But that's just so funny to me. I don't really understand that whole design, but... Is it just when you walk into the water? Or is it... Oh, yeah, like right immediately... Hmm. I guess they don't want you swimming in the water out here. Now, what I'm assuming is that, if I remember correctly, there is piranhas in the water in the raid. Maybe that's what's going on? Because I haven't done that raid in years. It's been a long time, long time. Uh, it's been forever, so I'm assuming that's probably what's going on, and they're just keeping the piranha effects of out here as well. But I never would have thought that there would have been piranhas in the water outside of a raid entrance. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to capture another screenshot here because that's a cool. <laughs> well, guys, that's really about it. There's not too much out here. Um, it is a cool little place out here, though. Cool to see the outside of a raid. But this is Burning Crusade, so of course they're not going to load too many assets outside of the raid. Uh, as it, it is old school. So, And if you actually make your way back this way, you can go back in the raid from here. Or go outside, I should say. And there we go. We're back outside the raid. So, that is the Serpent Shrine Cavern. So, thank you guys for watching. I know this is a little shorter video, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys what's out here i do got some more videos planned coming up also people had voted on the community page on atn thank you for casting your votes it looks like the hardcore wow death run has won the vote for the next event on 420 so we're definitely going to be planning that i don't know how it's going to go yet but i do kind of have an idea also um if you haven't joined the ATN Discord, please do. I will put the link in the comment section below, as well as the affiliate co discount code for GamingHero.io. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you, everybody, who's been watching and supporting these videos. As always, my name is Nathan. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.